We're gonna go poke Cerberus in the asshole. Make them pay for being dicks to Mr. 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 Um, uh, uh, Admiral Koku. That was his name, Kohoku. wasn't it? Uh, Koku, yeah. Okay. Voyager. There we go. Got it. Voyager cluster. Looking, Gansy. Yep. Got. Oh, good. It's already. There we go. Great. Did it. Anyway, uh, we just got back from watching the Imitation Game. Fantastic, absolutely amazing mu movie. Excellent film. Uh, the best film to come out in 2014 that I saw. It really is. It it is the best film that I've seen this year. Um, more from an important standpoint, I would say my favorite film of the year is still Kingsman, but this is probably the best mm. one, like spiritually for me, uh, because it touched on a lot of stuff that. I feel like I obviously can't relate completely to uh, the main character. I'm not gonna say that like I've had it, I had it as bad as he had it, where he was dealing with um, being persecuted for hom his homosexuality and being an antisocial guy and stuff mm -hmm. like that, while he was basically saving the world. That's what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Was basically saving the world, and everyone was uh, getting on his case because of. Um, his sexual preferences and that it was it was really really crazy um shit there's like three facilities okay let's start at the top and work our way down um you know can i say something before you continue yeah what? um you just made me think about it like he had two major things going against him his inability to socialize with people and his homosexuality and the thing that screwed him over the most wasn't the quality that should have, in my opinion. I mean, being homosexual, it's neither here nor there. So what if you like guys versus girls? But he was persecuted for that. He lost his job prospects and eventually his life and sanity because of that. But being a jerk to people, he tried real hard to be better at that. And he did get better at that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you know that's that was a block, roadblock for him as far as as far as like being a cooperative member of the team and getting people on his side to help him complete his machine and stuff. Yeah. But in the end, the thing that screwed him over the most was a quality that should never be something that separates you from humanity. It's like it's like me with. I mean, it's not. I, I say this. I don't mean to compare being persecuted for your sexual preferences. I think a lot of. I think. Um. I think the Turing character in the film, and I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna separate that from the actual guy, Alan Turing, because obviously this was a dramatized version of him of the man, but the character presented in the film. Is ex it can, can can we hang on for a second? The fuck. Is Are those going mini on in here? versions of the Colossi? I thought they were, but I think they're Rachni. You think Cerberus is experimenting on the Rachni? Uh, probably. Wouldn't put it past them. Oh my god. That was just really weird. I was We just walked into this room and all of a sudden there's like a little... Also, all these dudes look like the taxi guy from uh, Cloud City. <laughs> Not the taxi guy, he was the, um... He's he like was, an android. He was Lando's uh, personal assistant. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant to say. Yeah. I call him the taxi guy because he's part of the, uh... He's part of the figurine or whatever. Oh, yeah, they're right, I, and we They're all okay. there. I killed them, whoops. So, yeah, um... There were things that I think a lot of people, homosexual or just nerds, or, you know... Outcasted for whatever reason. Outcasts for whatever reason. I mean, I saw a lot of things like has other bases that, on this in him that I could identify with. And, um, you know, the homosexuality had nothing to do with it. It was the way that he regarded other people. And he... he I don't know if you noticed, but he wouldn't say hello or goodbye to almost anyone in the film when they said those words to him. I used to be like that in, in a certain way. I used to think that it would be... It was unnecessary for me to say hello or goodbye to somebody because, you know, I'm like, well, they're my friend. They know that I wish them well. Why should I have to vocalize it? I didn't really have that thought process. I just felt like it was a waste of an action and that it should be just understood 
that um, you don't really have to say the word hello or goodbye. You just got to be like, yeah, all right, I'm in now. And I can be like, all right, see you later yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess... I guess that isn't as big of a deal for me as it would be would have been for you and but but yeah just random like social quirks like that and stuff yeah mm-hmm. I understood that completely. Um, what really really got me was all of that about it was a phrase they said three times and every time they said it it cut me a little bit a little bit deeper about how. Um, Sometimes the people who... Oh, man, I can't remember it either now. Sometimes the people who are considered the least remarkable are the ones that do the most remarkable things. Yeah. Um, every time that was said, it, it felt like it really hit me a little bit harder. Um, like, I wouldn't call myself a remarkable person. I'm just another college student um, that was comes from a privileged family i guess to some extent i mean i've got my own issues like growing up with a single parent and stuff like that and things but none of it's really been all that bad and i've just been kind of like boring and just another person and there's not really anything this is just a giant zoo isn't it it's gonna get worse the next room's really gonna have some screwed up krogan or something well these are all thorian creepers yeah Okay, the next one's gonna have Gath. I'm calling it. Okay, probably. We'll see. I think the next room's gonna have suspicious looking cows. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Ow. Anyway, um, I didn't mean to distract you with my, uh, what's going on on the screen. This is normal. I mean, this is nothing really bad, whatever. There is no sign of Kohaku among the creeper corpses. I Did he actually come here? Apparently. The next base. Uh, they did. He did say Cer- Cerberus is on his trail. I didn't think they went after him this quickly. Jeez, this has become a little bit more. <laughs> this is a bit crazy now. Holy shit! Okay. I didn't realize we were going after, like, trying to find where Kohoku went. Alright, anyway, um... Like, I don't know. I always considered myself a subpar. Um, I, gr- I think that's mostly because of all the people around you telling you that. Yeah, I, I mean... For all of... I had a lot of, basically, cash thrust at me. Um, and I felt wrong using it, because I felt like I... Hadn't earned it. I wasn't capable of of doing anything good with it. Like, a lot of the inheritance that I've managed to gain, I've ended up giving away just more or less out of either shame or just not feeling like I could use it appropriately. And, and I have all these friends that are like, I wouldn't call it suffering or starving or anything like that. Um, it's just like a couple people that need help with their taxes and stuff like that. You know, um, in the fandom and all that, and like donation here, donation there, and it's managed to help me meet people. But you know what I mean. I, I yeah. just, um, and that mindset just really got me. I was like, I feel sometimes like, what the hell am I doing this YouTube show for? I've been back and forth about this for a long time when I started doing this channel it was I mean this is probably a good time to talk about this I'm coming up on a thousand subscribers finally um I say finally I don't mean finally it's it's (laughs) fine that sounded really yeah that was a bit uh that was a bit I've been privileged not privileged expectant (sighs) I am sad that that it's just now happening and I don't I blame myself for that because I feel like if I'd been pushing out regular content and stuff people actually wanted to see, it wouldn't have taken me that long. 
Um, because I feel like I could be doing better, and I'm letting a lot of my fans and the people that actually watch these videos down because I'm not doing the right things that would probably generate the interest of you guys. Like, I feel like I'm not living up to the expectations of the people that are actually subscribed to me. Like, this... My last series that I just finished, the Sea of Flame um, Minecraft series, I put a lot of, like, time and work into, and... I only see it getting one or two views a video, and I, I feel like, not like, um, why am I not getting views on this, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I've done a bad thing, and I'm just making things no one really finds interesting, I guess. And it makes me feel a little, like, paranoid and self-conscious and stuff like that. Um, part of it is... I. And people tell me this. They're like, whenever you, whenever I get concerned about this, I go talk to, like, either Jeff Major or one of my YouTube senseis, and I'm like, God, this really sucks. And they're like, well, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. If, if you're bringing up that you're concerned about this stuff, then you're just like all the other stupid YouTubers that are just doing this to be popular. Like, and they say that, and I'm like, but, no, it's not, it's not like that. It, I, I don't, I wasn't in this to be popular, ever, at, at all. I, I always thought that I might be, and that scared me. Like, I'm, I'm seeking some sort of satisfaction or someone to tell me that I'm worth something. That's not really the reason I decided to go at this. One, I'm going at it because I love making videos. Um, once I started fiddling around with uh, Sony Vegas and effects and stuff, I really enjoyed making content. Um, but mostly it's... Wow, he is fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> Look Did at that. just put him in there with the Rachni? <laughs> Apparently. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh, goddess. It's Admiral Kohoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Those dogs. Are we done with this quest, or do we need to turn in someone? Tally says there's one more place we have to check. We owe Kohoku that much. Oh, she, she did? Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's fine. She said it before you even found his body. Oh, okay. Um... I'm not... I don't feel like I'm in this for the popularity. That... I, I'm definitely over that. I've got enough friends that tell me about what being popular is like to know that that isn't at all what my goal was when I started this venture. Um... It's part just wanting to be an entertainer. I love making people happy and making people like laugh at my stupid shit. Um, and it's another part. I feel like I have a lot of important ideas. What the fuck? Oh, okay, hang on. Nefirian, Columbia. Oh, so we gotta go to a completely different planet. Oh, okay. Okay. Nefirian Columbia, I got it. It's it's more I feel like I have important things that I need to st to say somehow. Like we have so many fireside conversations about just random shit. And I feel like just between you and me, um I'm talking to Jim sort of. Um we we like solve the world's problems like over uh freaking watching sword art online or just hanging out <laughs> and i feel like i have a lot of good ideas about just how shit should work and i want to be heard like i, I want to have really intelligent conversations with people and throw out my opinion and to you know understand things and try to help people like come together and think not so selfishly there's been this weird trend lately i'm not sure if i'm just imagining this or something but it feels like everyone's just kind of attacking each other rather than trying to work together and 
come up with solutions to problems. Like, I see... Uh, the United States government, I guess I could make an example out of. I, I, I'm getting I'm getting a little dangerous here. I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> I'm getting a little dangerous, but... Um, You're not going to offend me at all if I'm talking about the government. Uh, I'm using it as an example. I think everyone's getting a little too radical these days and finding it harder and harder to compromise because if you don't take a really firm standpoint, then someone will just come up and like slap you in the face or just like walk all over you. Mm -hmm. And that's something a lot of people are concerned with. Um... But now it's getting like, it's getting too much where everyone's too afraid of compromising and working stuff out. They feel like they always have to be big and tough and push other people around or nothing will get done. And it's turned into things like social justice warriors being looked at as bullies. When those kinds of people that fight for equal equal rights for each other and you know um just being good to your fellow man th that should be what everyone w wants to do like it shouldn't be just a subsect of like a community and people looked at as being like crazy internet people that sh everyone should be for social justice it's mm -hmm. not like there's no downside to it everyone should be on the same page working together it's mm -hmm. like how communities work it's normal in my opinion, I guess. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of using the words social justice warrior in a negative context makes no logical sense. Unless the person using it in a negative sense actually doesn't want social justice. Redeploying. Go, go, and go. I, this is a obviously a much bigger issue than can be tackled on a you know, let's play channel. But I, I think going back to, you know, what you were saying just a minute ago about having things to say and stuff. Clear. Um, I I've always believed, or for the most part, over the last like you know half of my over the uh, you know the, the past half of my life, I've believed that um, it's better to assume that somebody out there has listen to you and does agree with you or has come to understand things because of what you've done but they're never going to tell you they're never going to send you a mail they're never going to uh, you're never going to find out that you have actually you know given them like com companionship or an answer to a question they were seeking or just somebody to at least agree with for an evening when they were feeling alone on an issue I'm on I believe that somebody out there probably I believe that somebody out there has go, go, already go. through watching one of your videos. You know, you've made someone's day better. Go, 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 go. You must have. Yeah. All the videos you've put up, all the views on all the videos in total, you. you've made people's days better. Like but I, you're I, I, only I, I, going I to hear about a tiny fraction of it because oh. that's how feedback works. I know. Yeah, I, I mean I like to imagine that. It's just um I really want to keep. I just want to keep growing and making cool stuff. I, it's all I want to keep doing. <laughs> I and, want. I and, want to just do it. And I'm sure all of your YouTube gurus have already told you if you just keep making the show you want to make, and if you're happy with it, it eventually out. you're going to get the audience. Yeah. That's going to be attracted to this kind of thing. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing, and that's that's totally totally what I'm down for. Mm -hmm. And there's other things I really want to experiment with. I mean, when I made my new channel intro and I included the animation thing, that wasn't just like a subtle. Maybe. It was like, I'm really looking at doing one. some kind of storyboarding and making some kind of, like, thing regarding that. Because, you know me, I'm, like, naturally a writer. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have so many ideas and stories in my head that I can't contain all of them, and I need another way to get them out. Mm -hmm. So, I, I need another medium for that. Oh, dear. Uh, what? This, it's so weird, all these little bits of, like, text adventure stuff in this game. Yeah, I'm really confused. Okay, what does it want us to do now? Um... You found a major Cerberus base and ended their sinister experiments in this cluster, avenging Admiral Kahoku's death and removing a danger that could have threatened the entire galaxy. 
so I win. I don't know if that had, did that just happen? I don't think that triggered just because of that. I think I win. I think I think I did I think I did the good. Oh, I think, so that was the end of the Cerberus mission. I getting think that, so. Getting the data out of the hard drive. Yeah, it was just worded really weirdly. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're done with that then. Okay. All right. Let's go down the list. X fifty seven one missing engineer. That was uh, the DLC. We're not going to finish that. Pharaoh's got the tunnels. I made that. We can't do that because the guy that I would have turned that quest into died. Um, that's a fetch quest. That's a fetch quest. That's a fetch quest. Who gives a Pinnacle shit? Station. Oh, we really need to go back there and make that happen. <clears throat> <laughs> Never. I would rather uh, get a haircut. Anyway, that's never going to happen. Nope. And that's never going to happen. Nope. So, let's fucking go to Vermeer. Can I get a party rockers in the house tonight? Hell yeah. Par party, party rockers in the house tonight. USA, USA, USA. <laughs> oh God! All right, I'm sorry if I got a little serious there for a bit. I we've we watched this movie and uh, we we had a very good evening at the movies, and it has uh, really put us in the mood for introspection. Yeah, like that movie really really got to me. Uh, it it made me think about things. I was any movie that can make me cry first of all is is a good movie uh the last time i cried at a movie was uh the lego movie during the dad scene when he's talking to his son and that, i didn't think will ferrell it was will ferrell, ferrell right in the live action segment yeah. yes i didn't think he was capable of making me cry <laughs> yeah. until that scene yeah. and i was like <laughs> fuck that that messed me up because i was like oh my god this is this is sort of how my childhood went man I never told you this I never told you this story um when I was a little kid remember when Super Smash Brothers first came out yeah um I went to the store and I went to get it because I had a Nintendo 64 mm -hmm. and I you can imagine how old I was around that time right like Tenish? maybe 10 12. Um, I wanted to get it, and I, and I wanted to get a guidebook on it, and I went up and tried to buy it, and I was like, I had my allowance, and I had it off the shelf and had it in my hands, and my dad grabbed the book, and ripped it out of my hands, and went, no, no more cartoon characters, you need to grow up for Super Smash Brothers, and that's the reason I never had Super Smash Brothers on Nintendo 64 was because he saw it as a game full of cartoon characters and thought I had too many cartoons and that I needed to grow up. That's bullshit. Yeah, I know. He did not know that it was probably the most violent fighting game. <laughs> on the Nintendo. On the Nintendo that involved these little cute animals beating the ever-loving shit out of each other. He just saw cartoon characters... You're too old for this. Yes. So there's a million things wrong with that, with that whole thing in, happening. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Oh, Jesus. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Uh. <laughs> Didn't we just fight? Okay, I'm, let me guess. Ooh. All the Cerberus side missions are sequential and you keep unlocking them as you complete them? I don't remember this at all. This is completely... Oh. I don't remember. Uh, who are you? Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow... Of Group. course! You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Kahoku's death. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. 
Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. This is treason. If I agreed to this, yes. it would totally be treason. Yes. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Okay, then let it Might be on them. You. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. No deal. I, it's not about trust. It's about protocol. It's about, yeah. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Yeah, we know how that's going to go already. <laughs>